Hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and I just wanted to say hello and give you a bit of a bathroom update. This is our downstairs cloakroom and I showed it, I wanna say about three or four months ago. However, we have now actually kind of, I think, I think, finished it. I might accessorize it a bit more. I might put some more bits and bobs around, but I think for the most part we are done. Oh, also actually, that's not true. I'm getting a splash pack. I'm getting a custom splash pack and I am so excited about it. But I just wanted to give you a quick update because it's looking pretty cute. We've had it painted. I'm really happy with it. I feel like it's like 95% there. Um, but yeah, I do need to get my custom splash back in, um, which is being made at the moment. I'm so excited. It's like probably the thing I'm the most excited about. And then I might accessorize it more at some point. But to be honest, I think it's basically there. So um, last time I showed it, it wasn't completely finished, but now it kind of is almost completely finished. I should probably just wait till I had a splash back, but whatever, I don't know when that's gonna be. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you around quickly. So this is obviously our downstairs cloakroom. Um, it's actually a cloakroom slash utility room. Look, I mean, hello, it's all about the sink. Look how bloody cute my sink is. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, it's the best, it's like the best thing ever. I got the sink and the toilet, no joke. <laughs> I got it for my birthday. Um, yeah, I wanted it so badly and my boyfriend was like, do you want it for your birthday? And I was like, more than anything. Um, so yeah, the sink and the toilet were actually my birthday gifts. I love them, aren't they amazing? Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the downstairs cloakroom toilet we've had it painted pink so that is the, the kind of the major update here i love it pink it just looks more finished i've accessorized the pink and red art this is actually um a signed manic street preachers thingy my bob my boyfriend loves the manics um this is a vintage poster from when we lived in margate this is a benign's original print one of 25 thank you very much these are both from Oliver Bonus. And, um, oh my God, I've got to show you my toilet roll holder. Isn't this amazing? I bought this from Rocket St. George and I was like, I can't spend 50 pounds on a toilet roll holder. And then I spent hours, literally hours, <laughs> looking around for a toilet roll holder that was like cheaper, but still cool. I couldn't find any. And then eventually I was like, do you know what? The amount of time this is taking me to look for a toilet roll holder. I, I would have just been better buying the expensive one and being done with it. Like it's such a waste of time. Um, just like scouring the internet for a cheaper version. So I bought it and you know when you're like, I have no regrets, I love it. Um, yeah, this is my very expensive toilet roll holder, which I just bloody love. Um, oh my God, that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> we just had some letters posted through the door and I was like, oh my God, who is that? I'm being attacked. No, it's Postman. Um, anyway, that's my toilet roll holder. I actually love it. Um, so this is my pink toilet. This print is by Decenio. I cannot recommend their prints enough. They're great. I have put in a little bit of Fauna Seti because I don't know, I love it. And also it's got some nice red tones in it, which obviously kind of work in the room. I love Fauna Seti. This is a three wick candle which I've not yet lit. I probably won't light it in here. It's kind of just for display at the moment. But yeah, the floor is quite neutral. The floor is gray. I couldn't, I didn't know, I didn't know what we were gonna do in here. So when they were like, what color do you want? I was like, let's just keep it simple and go gray. But I don't hate it. It's just a bit boring. Um, but actually, you know, it's all about the pink and red. It's all about the pink and red. Anyway, let me show you behind here. Cause I think this is pretty good. We didn't have enough space in the house to put a utility room. However, we did have quite a big cloakroom. So we figured if we put doors across the whole of the wall, I'll show you when it's all closed in a second, we could put the boiler, all the cleaning, you know, ironing board, all that, all that stuff I never use. We could put it all behind the cupboards. So it would kind of have a utility room kind of function without it being a separate room. And it would also be really hidden away. This is where we have the washing machine, tumble dryer, the washing that has not yet been done. All my who's a, who gives the crap toilet paper. Um, and yeah, just all, 
all the stuff that just needs to be hidden away because it's an absolute mess. Um, but yeah, when you walk in, you wouldn't know it's behind there because you just kind of walk in and it's just like a wall of pink cupboards and you're kind of, your eye is focused on the pink toilet. But I really love it. Like, I think it's, I don't want to boot my own horn, but I think it's pretty clever. Um, what else should I show you in here? So it's all pink now. We've got panelling, which I think at some point we might paint. Um, these cupboard doors just hide all the sins of the world. <laughs> um, oh, over here, look, can you tell I haven't accessorised properly? I've got a blue towel, a blue hand towel. I should have put it in a pink or red, but whatever. I'll change it at some point. Um, but this is a 1970s poster. It's um, a Bob Dylan original poster, um, Tambourine Man. It's my boyfriend's. He loves an original poster, um, like a 1970s poster. He's actually got an Isle of Wight one here um, from like the Isle of Wight Festival. What year? 1970. Look at this lineup. It's crazy. The Doors, The Who, Joni Mitchell, like Jimi Hendrix. Like it's such a crazy lineup. And look at the price. Wait, let me tap in. Can we see? Weekend tickets. Three pounds, isn't that bonkers? But yeah, it's such a beautiful poster and it's like from the 1970s and it's in such good condition. I love, I love the color palette. You know, when you're like, it just is of an, another era. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is an original Doc Bob Dylan poster from, I don't know, what year, 1970 something? I don't know, I'm not a Dylan person. Um, and then we've got these cute little radiators around the house. They are new, but they kind of look quite retro and I love them. That's kind of it, just pink Bellington bath bathrooms, um, pair in a row. I did this myself. I saw them on Etsy and they were like a tenner and I thought, that's a bit dirty. <laughs> um, and I thought I could do that for like two pounds. And I did, because I'm cheap. Um, but yeah, pink and red, bit of gold, bit of gold, a lot of pink. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's like the first room that I'm like, yes, we're, we're starting to get there, you know? Like, this house has been a bit of a, a bit of a project. It was quite hard. Um, it, yeah, it, was, it was a project, a harder project than we thought. And um, yeah, this is one of the first rooms where I'm like, okay, we're getting there, we're doing this. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share it with you. But it is now finally pink and I'm just, so happy with it like you know when you're like it's like pink it's so happy I need to I need to go on Amazon or something and order a pink towel because that <laughs> that won't do that's not the color scheme anyway that's my video um thank you so much for watching I hope hope you don't mind having another update but um yeah there'll hopefully be another update at some point where we put in the splashback it's gonna be here it's custom made I'm so excited. Um, it's gonna be <laughs> mosaic. I'm so excited. I, I'm honestly like, I'm so excited for it. But yeah, until then, it's like pretty much done. So I'm super pumped. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. I'm just gonna pan around quickly again. Um, gonna avoid the town. Here's Mr. Tambourine Man. Of course, the cupboards, which just hide all my messiness but yeah you know me like I'm so thrilled with it like I just think it's so fun and playful and also functional because everything's hidden behind the cupboards anyway that's my video thank you so much and I'll see you again soon goodbye <laughs>